while the fact that Porsche is working on yet another iteration of the venerable 911 is not unusual, some details of this particular prototype certainly are. First of all, Porsche hasn't done a thing to disguise this car. This allows us to clearly see that the car is 911 GT3 based, since the bumpers, lights, exhaust, and even the wheels are all identical. There is a difference, though. Which brings us to the other odd part of the car. This GT3 doesn't have a wing. Not only does it not have a wing, but the large radiator scoops found on the new GT3 are gone. In their place is the standard 911 radiator grille with vertical slats. With these details in mind, we can safely rule out a more hardcore track variant of the GT3 like the GT3 RS. Instead, this car must be a bit less concerned with outright speed, and more about the driving experience. And a GT3 without a wing and with a focus on driving enjoyment sure sounds like a 911R successor. To recap, the 911R used the GT3's mechanicals in most of the bodywork except it did away with the wing and added a manual transmission. It was also limited to just 991 units, and Porsche made it clear that there wouldn't be any more later. This would seem to preclude the possibility of a new one, but there would be an easy way around the issue. Call it something else. Porsche could call this car the 911 RS. For instance, keep all of the GT3 mechanicals, add a manual, and sell as many as it wants. It would please 911 enthusiasts that missed out on the R, and keep our owners happy that they still have an ultra-exclusive 911 model. And most important for Porsche, it would make the company money.